Let's take a look at this problem taken from the shortlist in the IMO 2019. It says, let x1, x2 up to xn be the strength real numbers. Prove that the product of 1 minus xi xj over xi minus xj with i fixed and multiplying over all j's that are not equal to i and summing this product over i from i equals 1 up to n is equal to either 0 or 1. It's equal to 0 if, I, if n is even and 1 if n is odd. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw this problem is that this part of the expression on the left hand side looks very much like the Lagrange interpolation formula. So before I go into this problem, allow me to introduce what this formula is all about. So some people wanted to find a function f such that for given some say x1, x2 up to xn, I can always make it equal to say some fixed points y1, y2 up to yn. You want to construct some kind of functions like this. And the most elementary thing that one can construct is that is of course a poly. So people wanted to construct a poly that satisfy, satisfies uh, this condition. Now to construct such a polynomial, people first start to think about some polynomial such that uh, say whether it's possible to have some say p1 such that for this equal to 1 and on the other hand these will equal to 0 or some other polys say p2 that will give all values equal to 0 except for second one, for x2, it will equal to 1, and so on. If this is possible, then I can simply multiply this poly by y1 and this poly by y2 all the way up to yn and add them up. Now for each of them, we can actually construct such a poly, which is p1 defined by the product of x minus xi over x1 minus xi summing over i from 1 to n and i not equal to 1 okay if we have uh, for this poly if we put x1 then it will simply um, cancel out with the denominators and so it will be 1 but if we put x2, x3, or up to xn, then one of the numerators will be 0, and so the whole poly will become 0. So I can do the same for the other parts. It's just replacing the 1 by 2, and so on. So ultimately, the poly that we're looking for is this. Multiply all these polys by y i and add them up. And this is x minus x j over x i minus x j. And so there we go. This is the point that we're looking for. So after we have this, I'm going to introduce a lemma. If there exists a poly P with degree at most n and for real numbers A naught 
up to a m plus one, b not b m plus one. We have p of a i equals b i for all i from zero to m plus one. Then this sum. Is zero. So of course we are summing over j not equal to i and i from um, zero up to m plus one. So why this why is this lemma true? Is that when we see this when we see this part, we are we're actually looking for some um, interpolating polynomial, which is of degree. Uh, which interpolates n plus two points, and for the poly above, it interpolates n points, and the degree is actually n minus one. So, look see at uh, from the pattern, the interpolating poly here should have degree n plus one, but the degree of the poly given here. It's just n at most n. So by comparing the coefficient of x to the n plus one, we are done. And so comparing uh, since deck of P is at most n, comparing coefficient of x to the n plus 1, there's some, just the leading term. Is 0. So the lemma, and now we are going to use this to help us solve the main problem. Let's go back to scroll back up. So consider such a poly. Given this x1, x2 up to xn, we consider this poly And applying the lemma, on the poly, x to the n times p to the 1 over x, and this set are not just the roots of p, but also 1 and minus 1. I'm going to explain why we come up with this later. We need a few more steps to, to show this. We can tell that the sum of uh, the images of these A terms into that uh, poly highlighted in yellow times some product equal to zero. And let me first draft what the images are. So, of course, we have x1 to the n p of 1 over x1 up to xn to the n p of 1 over xn. And, of course, when x is 1, we have p of 1. And for minus 1, we have minus 1 to the power n times p of minus 1. So, these are the images. Now, we first add the x terms. So, we have... This is the image, and then the product, referring back to the lemma, 
should be this one. From i i from one to n, which is one over x i minus x j, and of course we have something else to multiply, which is oh well, I think I'm uh, too little space, so I write down below times one over x i minus one, and of course x i minus negative one. So this is the product. So we have added the x terms, and now comes the p of 1 and um, minus 1. p of 1 times the product, this time j, not, 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 not multiply over j, but just all i from 1 to n, which is 1 over 1 minus xi, and also 1 over 1 minus negative 1. And then we're now going to add the last term. which is minus 1 to the n, p of negative 1, and then multiplying by 1 over minus 1 minus xi, and the whole thing times 1 over minus 1 minus 1. So everything all of these add together equals to 0. So that's the first step. Now I want to simplify that a bit before we proceed. is i to the n times p of 1 over x i over x i squared minus 1 and this thing multiplying by One over x i minus x j, and then plus p one p of one over two times this product and then adding minus two And multiplying by this product equals zero. Now, the only move that we can we can take afterwards is to rewrite some of the terms into in terms of p or to expand the polynomial. Firstly, these two terms, okay, that these two products are actually um, can be written as in terms of p. The first one is p of one. Okay, notice that p of x is this bunch, and if we put one in put x equals one, then it will simply become one times x one 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 minus x one one minus x two and so on, and same for the minus one part. So we have p of one over two times one over p of one, and then plus minus one to the n p of negative one over two. Sorry, minus 2 times p of negative 1. And for the former sum, we can rewrite that as xi to the n times x... Sorry. 1 over xi minus x1 times 1 over xi minus x2 all the way to 1 over xi minus xn. And then the whole thing over x i squared minus 1 times the product x minor minus x j. Now the terms after the summation are easy to simplify. They are simply 1 over 2 minus negative 1 to the power n over 2. And the former sum, I'm going to split this xi to the power n into n xi's and multiply each of them into each bracket. And the whole thing will become uh, 
1 minus xi x1, 1 minus xi x2, all the way to 1 minus xi xn over xi squared minus 1 times this product. And this is actually the very reason that I chose this poly, which is x to the n times p of 1 over x, because for the, for the terms inside the red circle, I can actually rewrite this as xi times uh, 1 over xi minus xj over xi minus xj. And in fact, this part is very close to um, the Lagrange interpolation form. So that's why I try to construct uh, some sort of poly P of 1 over X. So to fit in terms like of this kind of shape. Now, the next step would be to cancel out this term. Is to notice that one of the terms inside is 1 minus xi times xi and it's equal to 1 minus xi squared. And taking out this term, I am going to move all other terms into the product multiplying over j's that are not equal to i. So summing over i from 1 to n, we have 1 minus xi squared over xi squared minus 1, and the product of over j not equal to i and j is from 1 to n of 1 minus xi xj over xi minus xj exactly what we uh, what we have to face in our main problem plus 1 minus negative 1 hope to the n over 2 equals 0 and this bracket term is actually just minus 1 so negative of the expression that we have to consider plus this term equal to zero. So our required expression is just this. And we know this is obviously either 0 or 1, which is 0 if n is even, and 1 if n is odd. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.